I will discuss this. Question number four. This patient has painless nodules on the lips and tongue. Okay. The lesions appeared several months ago and have been enlarging. The patient underwent total thyroidectomy five years ago after finding a thyroid mass. On physical examination, the patient is tall and slender with disproportionately long arms and legs. What is this syndrome? Multiple endocrine type yes. 2B. Meant to be. This person is, has a marfans, marfanoid habitus. His fingers are long and joint laxity is present. Eye exam is normal. Um, but you can see several small soft colored pap papules on lips and tongue. This is a typical case of men too. Okay. So what are the three manifestations of men too? Okay, let me talk. Let's talk about men one first. Men one. This starts with the pituitary. Okay. Pituitary adenomas. Next. Pancreatic. Get, sorry. Yeah, pancreatic. Pancreatic endocrine tumors. It could be a vipoma, a gastrinoma, uh, that is Solingelison syndrome, all of those. Okay. And then it could also be a parathyroid tumor. That means high calcium. Okay. There will be constipation. Then uh, kidney stones, all of those hypercalcemia symptoms. This is men one, and it's called the three P's. We have pituitary tumors, pancreatic tumors, and parathyroid tumors, okay? Men two is of two types. Men two A, I'm gonna write it here. Men two A, men two B, which tumor? is found in both. One which produces epithelial chromocytoma. Ah, yeah, even uh, medullary thyroid carcinoma. And medullary thyroid Carcinoma. This is found in both. What is found in men 2A is parathyroid hyperplasia. They will rarely test men 2A, but they will test men 1 and men 2B because the other one over here is mucosal neuromas. And there's an important association. Marfanoid habitus. Okay, what happens in uh, pheochromocytoma? Sympathetic overdrive. Sorry? Sympathetic overdrive. Yeah. Uh, this, what is the most uh, commonly presenting symptom? Episodic headache. Episodic hypertension. Uh, what is the most important thing we need to remember when 
treating these patients. A alpha before beta antagonism. Alpha antagonist. Alpha before beta. Alpha before beta. See, uh, pre op, we need to give phenoxybenzamine at least two weeks, and then you can go for a beta blocker. Okay, due to unopposed alpha activity. So this patients, painless nodules, these are mucosal neuromas. The patient had a thyroidectomy due to medullary thyroid carcinoma and has marfanoid habitus. This is a typical case of men to be. Okay, try the next one. Okay, I'm going to keep it like this. Okay. 